a Supreme Court judge in Brazil has issued a ruling that it could if former president lose in a silver dog, silver released from jail. Just as Marco Aurelio Melo said any convicted criminal who has an appeal pending in court should be freed until the legal process has been exhausted. That would apply to one, 500 prisoners, including Lua, who has been in prison since April on corruption charges. His lawyer said they had already applied for his release. But it is by no means certain 73-year-old Luna will be leaving prison anytime soon. It is up to the local court that convicted him to decide whether he should be released. And the rest of the Supreme Court judges, all 10 of them could decide to overturn Justice Mello's ruling. The judge made the unexpected ruling on the issue of imprisoning people whose conviction has been upheld on first appeal, as is the case with Luo. He said they should be allowed to remain out of prison until the final appeal had been heard, a legal process that could take years. Justice Mello said a request for release should be made by the prisoner's lawyer to the court that found them guilty. By Leonardo Roca, BBC World Service America's editor, Marco Aurelio Melo was appointed to the Supreme Court in 1990 by his cousin, then President Fernando Collor de Melo. He has since established a solid reputation in Brazil's highest court, brushing off any allegations of nepotism. Mr. Melo has repeatedly sided with lawyers representing former President Lula on this matter, but there is no suggestion of a political or ideological bias behind his position. He believes that Lula's arrest and that of many other prisoners infringes basic principles of the Brazilian constitution. Judge Melo says that anyone still appealing against their sentences should have the right to await in freedom. All legal avenues are exhausted. Blasey Hoffman, head of the Workers' Party that Lula founded, tweeted soon after the announcement that lawyers had already put in a request for the former president's release. The Office of Brazil's Prosecutor General said it was studying the judge's ruling and weighing its options. Writers' news agency reports. The full panel of Supreme Court judges is deeply divided on the issue of whether convicted criminals remain free during the lengthy appeals process. They were due to a meet in April next year to make a decision on the issue. It is not clear if they will now meet sooner to consider Judge Mello's unilateral ruling, which came on the day card, goes in Torres's for the holidays. It is also unclear whether Luna, who was president from 2003 to 2011, could be freed from prison before a ruling from the full panel of judges. Luna was convicted in July 2017 of accepting a bribe and was sentenced to more than nine years in jail, which, on appeal, was increased to more than 12. He also faces other charges of money laundering, influence battling and obstruction of justice. The former president has always denied the allegations, claiming they are politically motivated. He said they were designed to prevent him from running for president in October, a mid-post showing him to be the front runner. The election was won by far-right candidate Jair Bolsonaro who takes office on 1 January 2019. Brazilians are deeply divided over the imprisonment of their former president, so this news is being watched by everyone. The BBC South America correspondent Katie Watson reports, a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with who was chief finance officer. Man Wazu, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December, Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would make the $9.40 65 yuan 
ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones. Shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December, the South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Huawei phone owners are being offered other enticements too. They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS, T, CO, Q, U, X, L, 1, 9, Y, P, Q, L, P, C, Twitter, Com, Soccer, Lof, End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one phone has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a lead misman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom. To evade sanctions on Iran between 2000 and May and 2014, they also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests. I'll help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. I use it for ends other than the pursuit of justice, Foreign Minister Christie of Freeland said, a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones. Shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December.
The South China Morning Post reported that it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are wayful owners are being offered other enticements to. They can get a 20% discount at a board in Beijing. See in Beijing. Bring a who are wayful and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS. T. C. O. Q. U. X. L. 1. I. Y. P. Q. L. P. I. C. Twitter. Com. S. O. G. R. L. O. F. End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer, offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors allege mismanagement.